morning. We are in the throes of getting ready for the yard sale. And I'm not gonna lie, this girl had to have a tiny taste of caffeine today. I've been really good on giving up caffeine. I have not had even a single drop in weeks. Today I made the weakest tea you could ever make and I drank like two sips of it and that is enough to get me going. Anyway, we're upstairs and we're getting stuff done, getting stuff ready for the yard sale. This room here is a huge mess, but it's because this table, train table, is going out to the yard sale and then this room's gonna be clean. Gabby, one of our subscribers suggested yesterday that we put all of your horse stuff up in the attic because it's such a, once we get all the toys out of there, it's such a huge open space for them to play. Nah, yeah, because we're not really up there a lot. I know, but you could go up there whenever you wanted and you'd have the whole place. We could even put a carpet up there and you guys could play on there. Yeah. She suggested that. They feel creeped up, creeped out upstairs all by themselves. So then I thought maybe we could do it in the sunroom, in your playroom. What do you think? And I say no. And she says no to that too because why would you ever go away from like the main part of the house unless your pair, it, when your parents just let you take over the whole dining room table with all your toys, right? Why would you ever? But it's my goal. It's my goal to make something into this room this this summer as soon as we get all this stuff gone. What? Um, I forgot that I had this guy. Yeah, He's because a mess. Yeah, she forgot she had it because your room is a mess. Now and once I broke his leg, I'm calm, so you had to clean that. Yeah, she broke yeah, his leg. I she like broke her horse's leg. Let's show them. Yep, she did. She, I glued it back on. Gabby glued it on for her. Anyway, um, so that's what we're doing. I have laundry here. I'm just trying to put Sophie's laundry away. Come on, let's go in your room and get it cleaned up. It's glorious out here, nice and cool. I'm going to Guys, I'm thinking I'm moving my bed. Where do you want to move your bed? I wouldn't put it in my closet. You guys ever do that thing where your mom says clean your room and then you're like all right well since i'm cleaning it might as well move everything around we do that all the time don't we do that all the time yeah, so can we move it? yeah we can maybe move your bed i have one idea it will be easy so uh, this is our big problem with the yard sale and my idea of the yard sale is that we're going to get rid of all the stuff we don't want or at least 900 percent of the stuff we don't want but then we have all the stuff that the girl that the girls keep that they don't really play with that they don't really need but they can't bear to be apart from so then we have all this stuff we have this starlight pony unicorn that sophie had to have and has never played with we have these ponies that they actually did play with but now they're grown out of we have these horses that they did play with but now they're kind of grown out of we're not getting rid of them. but no we're not getting rid of any of them but we still have Why them still no she's so soft you guys she's like the softest thing ever then we have Sophie's baby addiction and she's got all these babies and they're all just sitting in a big mess on your stroller. And she has some over there. Yeah. And then we have this shelf that's supposed to hold all of her babies, but isn't. And then we have even more toys there, more toys there. You guys do not want to see under her bed. I'll show you. Oh, she's moving her bed now. Look at all the stuff under her bed. Pretty. You can't have it like that. Well, well, I guess you found my secret hideout. So apparently her secret hideout is under her bed. It wasn't so secret, Sophie, because I could see it from the from the hallway. I could see under your bed. Huh? It's so secret. Look, here's more. more under her bed. Okay. Wait. Wow, I love it when the girls get to the age where they can rearrange that. Looks nice. Wait, just right there. So much more room to play in here. All right, five minute tidy, five minutes later, and this is what the room looks like. One big Two. tall girl standing in the middle of the room. Sophie moved her bed over there. Her dress no. is still there. This is all her shelf of stuff that she doesn't want to get rid of, but that she doesn't use. This is her little makeup area, isn't it so cute? And yeah, that's it. That's her whole oh, room. Me. And there's Sophie laying on her bed. And this is the trouble about Sophie having a new bed and a new spot. So this is what happens. Every time we change Sophie's room around, she gets totally confused. And in the middle of the night when she gets up to go to the bathroom, she's like, whoa, where is everything? Where am I going? And then it throws her off. She cannot walk from a new spot to the bathroom by memory. Right? 
No. So basically, we'll find her for the next two weeks or three weeks, we'll find her in Gabby's room trying to pee on the floor, marching down the stairs in the middle of the night, walking all the way through the house to pee in the downstairs bathroom, or who knows, maybe she'll pee in Nick's room this, this week now that she changed her bed around, right? Hopefully she is she a sleepwalking girl. Hopefully she poops in Nick's room. No, that would not be cool. Tomorrow, we are gonna tackle this big bad boy because this is supposed to be Gabby's reading nook and it does not look like it's just reading stuff on there, does it? We are out for a walk, it's glorious. I do have my sweater on. It's not super cold, but it's just nice out. Not hot though. We brought the dogs because you know we don't go anywhere without the dogs or at least we just brought Ab, who says she's an old girl. She can still run. If you can still run, you're not too old. She did it I'm so shocked that you didn't bring a puppy. That's weird. I guess you just brought your purse instead. Whoa, your purse has a nose. What is that? <laughs> a dog. Which dog? Just wait. Can you guys guess just by that nose? Do you know who it is? You know who it is by that nose? What do you think they're gonna guess? It's a goofball. Goofball. <laughs> well, who's a goofball? Here's another clue. There's a side picture. Can't really see. Oh, they see. Right, it's Toby! Toby. And Toby came in a purse today. We, we rotated the dogs. Today it's Toby and Abby, right? Yeah. Taking them for a walk. We are at the barn. I'll show you Gabby's outfit that she has for today. <coughs> outfit of the day. <coughs> Gabby. She's got on a uh, her black new pair of pants. A black top, a black shirt, short sleeve shirt. She's got her leather boots on and Tough half chaps on. And she refused to wear the helmet today. We seem to have bought a helmet that she doesn't want to wear. I, she says the strap bothers her and we're gonna have to fix that helmet up so that she's ready for it. Bring your inside right up. So you want to have Bruno looking in the direction that he's going at all times. And you can slow your posting. So if he looks over towards the wall, I want you to take your inside hand and squeeze the rein a couple times so he turns his nose in. That's it. Right. Kick him. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Uh, seven, maybe eight. Keep going. Six thirty. Madison. Big kick. Atta girl, keep them going. Now show me that light seat at the canner. Hold your bum straight up in the air. That's it. Do you find this one easier or harder? Good. Push down in your heels, give him a kick. Say, come on, sir. I need a real canner. Kiss, kiss. <coughs> nice, sit and breathe out. Very well done. In our light seat. 
Stand up tall. There you go. Kiss, 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 kiss. Now I want you to squeeze right here. Hold his belly. He's not going to gallop away on you. Don't be afraid to squeeze him. Hold tight and that'll keep your leg more still. You guys don't wash the bit here. Usually the other burn you have to wash it all the time. So, <clears throat> so why do you think? You don't do what? Here's my question, and I'd like to know the answer. So if you can comment below, at the other horse barn, we washed the bit every time we took the bridle off. Here, I don't see them doing that. So are you supposed to wash the bit every time you take the bridle off, or do you not wash it? That's my question. If you can answer, comment below for me, thanks. So what are we doing? Taking glue down. Putting him in a stall? Yep. All right. He's second last. So the lady's last. like last, so before lady. This is nice and cool out. On the bridge, I mean. Today, Inside. hopefully it doesn't rain on us. It's a long walk. So when they go to horse camp this summer, it's gonna be a long, hot walk. Horse camp, long, hot walk, right? Uh-huh. Riding is half track like half chaps makes it a lot easier to ride. Does it? Yeah. So you love your half chaps? Yeah. You look pretty professional too, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. But do you think you can ride with taller boots? I uh, know. Taller boots are like, don't let your legs bend as much. Well, you gotta work them in. No. Like, you're on. Um, doesn't like the flies. Mm. We're at the barn, you guys. Here we go. Full of flies. <laughs> Lots of flies. Thank you. 
doesn't even get any food in here. Where's the food? They all get the same kind of food though, guys. He's Don't eating worry. poop. What are you eating? What are you uh, eating? Do I... I'm gonna give you some hay. Is this straw or hay? Hay. What? Hay. Are you sure? They don't put straw in their stall. Oh, okay. But there we go. Sure there you go. Gave you some food. You happy now? You happy blue? Bye bye, boy. Now you won't be so blue. You'll be happy. Bye. See you later. Okay, so this is the barn. This is where you mucked out stalls before? Yeah, I'll show you my prize winning stall. Prize winning stall? Uh, if you haven't watched any horse camp videos, I'll post an eye card up here. You can see a whole week of horse camp in the, in the winter time. It was March, it was during March break in March. Anyways, we're at the barn. Look at all these nice horses. Nikita, Sophie, and um, Brianna mucked out her stall. Nikita. Nikita. This is Nikki's stall. And I mucked out the stall. So, after. And that's my prize winning stall. Cool. What's this? Whose horse? What's horse this one? I don't know. Who are you? We don't know. There's no name on your stall. Who are you? There's no name on your stall either. There's Millhouse. Millhouse. Okay. I know Nikita. This is the one that got hurt last week, isn't it? Yep. How's your stitches? Stitchy. How's your stitches? Looking good. Looks like it's healing. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get. Let's get going. Long walk. We spent over a couple hours at this barn. Got here early. The horse already tacked up. Spent a half hour riding lesson. Half hour getting the horse untacked and brushed and bring her down here. Yeah. Well, bring him down here. And it was a long day. It's two hours. These make it easier to walk. Sophia, when she does a lesson with another rider, she does a whole hour lesson. I don't know what's better. I think the hour is better because you're at least riding for an hour. But there's more one-on-one -on, -one on a half hour lesson. So anyways, we're gonna end tonight's vlog and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.